from. And fire officials say this is the most tragic fire incident in Memphis since the 1920s. We have team coverage for you from where these children went to school to how the fire department is trying to prevent another tragedy like this from happening. And we start with Jerry Askin live at the house who spoke with the children's father. Jerry? Yeah, Kanji and Joe, just a devastating story all the way around. And as you mentioned in the past hour, we've learned the cause of fire is a faulty cord here hooked up to this AC unit in the living room. Now, happening right now, we have seen family members at this home all day, family and friends at this home bringing flowers, waiting for answers. You also see balloons here at this home and a toy car. Such a devastating story and such a tragedy. No words can explain the hurt and pain this family is going through right now. It can't, I can't even explain it. You know, the way I feel losing all my babies like that. Nine people killed when this South Memphis home caught fire early Monday morning. Firefighters say a malfunction of a power cord on an AC unit that was in the living room area caused the fire. Six of them were small children with big smiles and bright futures. They were Ernest Jett's children. He wasn't home when the fire happened. And we know nine-year-old Cameron Jett is still fighting for his life at Labonner Children's Hospital and surrounded by so many heartbroken family and friends. It just hurts so bad. I just can't believe it. And here's the latest from fire officials. Someone inside the house used a cell phone to dial 911 around 1.30 Monday morning. Firefighters got there within minutes. Many were emotional after putting out the blaze. It took 15 minutes on scene to put the fire out and pull the family of 10 from the home. Investigators also told us the house had a security door and bars on the windows, making it tough to escape. The days coming ahead going to be real hard, real hard.